Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh My name is Dia Dita Pratiwi And this video I made to fulfill Interpersonal and transactional Conversational assignment uh, Which is about interruption in English So Happy watching Interruption is not always negative And is often even unavoidable Interjecting can be necessary For a number of reasons You might interrupt a conversation To what? Give a message to someone and two, ask a quick question. Three, give your opinion on something that has been said and four, join a conversation. If you find yourself needing to carefully interrupt a conversation for any of the reason before, there are certain forms and phrases that you should use so as not to offend or otherwise upset anyone. But before that, we should know the reason of interrupt to interrupt other, per, uh, other, other people or other person. In an interruption, you pause a conversation to give someone important information, ask a quick question, or share your opinion on something said. Interruption should be accompanied by an apology or permission seeking question. Keep them short so that a conversation is not derailed. Okay, so. We jump in a first point, which is how to giving someone information. Use these short phrases to efficiently deliver a message or get someone's attention mid-conversation. These are effective whether you are giving information to an individual or the whole group. First, I'm sorry to interrupt, but you're needed. Two, I apologize for the interruption, but I had to quickly let you know that. 3. Pardon me, I have an object or information requested. And 4. I hope you'll excuse me for interrupting, but could I quickly get you to... That is example of phrases that you can use for giving someone information. The next point is asking a quick question. Sometimes, it's necessary to pause a conversation to ask a clarifying question. These short phrases allow for brief questions during a conversation. For example, 1. I'm sorry for interrupting, but I don't quite understand. 2. Sorry for the interruption, but could you repeat? 3. This will only take a minute. Would you mind telling me? And four, I apologize for the interruption, but I have an important question about. Alternatively, you can use question as a polite way to joining a conversation. Here are some ways that you can ask for permission from a group to become part of their discussion. One, could I jump in? Two, could I add something? Three. Do you mind if I say something? And four, may I interject? So, that's an example of phrases that we can use to asking a quick question. So the next point is how you sharing your opinion. If you feel that you have something to share or comment on as a conversation is happening that will add value to discussion, use these phrases to considerately to so. One, that makes me think of. Two, interesting that you say that because. Three, what you said about the topic reminds me that. Four, your point sounds like an alphabet like something else. So, you can use caution when interrupting a speaker to share an opinion or story. Always pay respect to the speaker and don't interrupt too often. The next point is how we joining a conversation. Sometimes you will want to join a conversation that you were not originally a part of. In these cases, you can insert yourself into a discussion without being rude using these phrases. 1. Would you mind if I joined? 2. I couldn't help overhearing. 3. Sorry to butt in, but I think. And 4. If I may, I feel.
So that is an example of a phrases that we can use to joining a conversation. To next point, what to do when you are interrupted? Just as you will sometimes need to interrupt, you will sometimes be interrupted. If you are the speaker, it is up to you to determine how to proceed. Decide whether you want to reject or allow an interruption and then respond accordingly. And the next point is how to interrupting someone who has interrupted you. You do not always need to allow an interruption. If you were interrupted rudely or believe that you should finish your thought first, you have the right to express this without being considered impolite. I think that's all for me. Thank you so much for your attention and I'm sorry for any mistakes. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.